Well, when it comes to Hurricane Ida, our area dodged a bullet. But with every storm comes costly repairs, regardless of the intensity of the storm. Loss of sand and beach erosion is always an issue, and that loss is now compounded with losses from at least two previous hurricanes. NBC 15's James Gordon joins us now from Gulf Shores. James, is their calculation of the cost this time? Well, Kim, you know, engineers have taken aerial photos all the way from the floor of Bama to Fort Morgan. The numbers aren't in yet, but the estimates on the damage they tell us could be in the millions. Gulf Shore City Engineer Mark Ackerman has been keeping tabs on the beach erosion for years. I probably, if I had to guess, make a couple hundred thousand yards of material. So, uh, I mean, it's substantial. It's a couple of million dollars. He says although Hurricane Ida gave us tropical storm winds and surge, city officials will be adding the damage to storms dating back to Hurricane Nate back in 2017. So it does take a significant amount of time to permit, uh, but we're close to being at the tail end of that, and we think we're about to get approved for um, Sally. And so we combine that with Nate and then we'll be able to move forward with that project. And if there's some additional uh, losses for Ida, we hope we can just add that to that project. Once FEMA comes up with the money, sand will be pumped in from the Gulf. That will likely happen in the winter of 2022. We need the beach width for our tourists, but we need the dune system to protect the road, to protect the utilities, to protect all the structures behind it. Older condos like this one, whose dune system was compromised by Hurricane Sally, were swamped by Ida's surge waters from the Gulf. City officials say the majority of the dune structures here have held up for the most part. We haven't seen any storm surge damage to any of the facilities behind the dune system since we finished this project in 05. Now, once FEMA approves the money, the federal government will pay 75% of that beach redurgement. The state, county, and city will share the remaining costs. Now we're live at Gulf Shores. James Gordon, NBC 15 News.